The Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security abbreviated CHS, previously the UPMC Center for Health Security, the Center for Biosecurity of UPMC, and the Johns Hopkins Center for Civilian Biodefense Strategies is an independent, non-profit organization of the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health that works in the area of health consequences from epidemics and disasters. It is a think tank that does policy research and gives policy recommendations to the United States government. History The Center for Health Security began as the Johns Hopkins Center for Civilian Biodefense Strategies in 1998 at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. D. A. Henderson served as the founding director. At that time, the center was the first and only academic center focused on biosecurity policy and practice. At one point around 2003, CHS had become part of a new umbrella organization called the Institute for Global Health and Security at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. In November 2003, the leaders left Johns Hopkins to join the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center (UPMC) and relaunched the center as the Center for Biosecurity of UPMC. This move apparently split the organization in two, and it is unclear what happened to the old organization. On April 30, 2013, the center changed its name from Center for Biosecurity of UPMC to UPMC Center for Health Security. This name change reflected a broadening of the scope of CHS's work. In January 2017, the center became part of the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. Its domain name changed from upmahealthsecurity.org to centerforhealthsecurity.org. Topic: <laughs> Funding. In 2002, the center received a $1 million grant from the U.S. federal government. Before 2017, CHS was heavily reliant on government funding. In January 2017, the Open Philanthropy Project awarded a $16 million grant over three years to the Center for Health Security. Topic: Publications. The Center for Health Security publishes three online newsletters Clinicians Biosecurity News formerly the Clinicians Biosecurity Network Report, published twice each month. Health Security Headlines, a daily news digest previously called Biosecurity Briefing, then Biosecurity News in Brief starting in 2009, then Biosecurity News Today starting in 2010 or 2011, and finally Health Security Headlines starting in 2013. The digest used to also be weekly until in February 2009. Preparedness PulsePoints, published weekly it also provides editorial oversight for the journal Health Security, which was launched in 2003 and called Biosecurity and Bioterrorism, Biodefense Strategy, Practice, and Science until 2015. CHS also publishes the blog The Bifurcated Needle, the Open Philanthropy Project's grant write-up of CHS noted several publications. Body, Crystal, Watson, Matthew, Ackerman, Gary, Gronval, Gigi Quick August 21, 2015. Assessing the bioweapons threat, is there a foundation of agreement among experts about risk? PDF. Science. 349 792–793. DOI 10.1126/science.arb0713 ISSN 0036-8075 P 
PMID 26293941. Inglesby, Thomas V., Relman, David A. February 1, 2016. How likely is it that biological agents will be used deliberately to cause widespread harm? Embo reports. 17, 2, 127 to 130. DOI 10.15252 EMBR.20154167474. ISSN 1469-3178. PMC 5290809. PMID 26682799. Gronval, Gigi Quick, Shearer, Matthew, Collins, Hannah, Inglesby, Thomas. July 14, 2016. Improving Security Through International Biosafety Norms. PDF. UPMC Center for Health Security. The center has published in journals including JAMA and The Lancet. A full list of publications is available on the CHS website. As of February 2017, the list shows more than 400 publications. Topic: <laughs> Major conferences and events. Topic. Clade X On May 15, 2018, the center hosted Clade X, a day-long pandemic tabletop exercise that simulated a series of National Security Council convened meetings of ten U.S. government leaders, played by individuals prominent in the fields of national security or epidemic response. Drawing from actual events, Cladex identified important policy issues and preparedness challenges that could be solved with sufficient political will and attention. These issues were designed in a narrative to engage and educate the participants and the audience. Cladex was livestreamed on Facebook and extensive materials from the exercise are available online. Atlantic Storm On January 14, 2005, CHS helped to host Atlantic Storm, a tabletop smallpox bioterrorism simulation. <laughs> Operation Dark Winter From June 22 to 23, 2001, CHS co-hosted Operation Dark Winter, a senior-level bioterrorism attack simulation involving a covert and widespread smallpox attack on the United States. Topic: Other. Equals equals see also.